I wanted to show you a interview that Lindsey Graham did, the Republican senator from South Carolina, with Fox News host Jesse Waters. Earlier this week, Lindsey Graham is actually a sponsor, a co-sponsor of the Restrict Act. And Jesse Waters confronted him about the fact that Lindsey Graham and his colleagues are claiming to Americans this is about banning TikTok, but in fact the bill extends far beyond that. Watch what happened. I don't think I support the Restrict Act. <laughs> you don't support this because you were named as one of the supporters because this is garbage. Well, uh, is this the one with John? There's two bills out there. One allows a review of businesses that that are connected to China, give the secretary the ability to protect our data. Uh, is that the Restrict Act? We got S-686 right here, yeah. March 7th. Mm -hmm. And we got a bunch of Republicans supporting it. Because this thing is crazy town. You don't want yeah. the government looking into your private phone. No, I don't. If and they, they have can't. a hunch you're colluding with the <laughs> Russians, we remember how yeah, that turned that's out. Right. Yeah, no, well, the Constitution trumps a statute. So let me come back and, uh, you know, give you a better explanation. Here's the problem as I see it. Uh, China is the parent company of TikTok, and my nieces like TikTok. I don't mind them using TikTok. I just don't want the Chinese government to seize all their data and manipulate the information America sees uh, for political purposes. China is helping drug cartels in Mexico. China is not a friend. The Chinese espionage is an all-time high against American business interests. So I want to push back against China, but within a constitutional framework. You're right about that. So. Uh, you made these allegations, and I'll come answer better next time. Right, well, I mean, because on Congress.gov, you're listed as one of the co-sponsors of this thing. Maybe it's like Fetterman when your chief of staff <laughs> does be. all your work for Could you. Be. But, <laughs> Senator, you got to go back and talk to these other senators about this. Yeah. This thing is nuts, and yeah. it's going to get abused like it always does. So we got to yeah. clean this up. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to push back against China being able to steer your data, but I want to do it in a constitutionally sound manner. So the problem is real with China, but the solution can be more damaging than the problem. I agree. Is sort of yeah, what you're you telling know, me. You know, don't That's push what back you're telling me. on the United States citizens yeah, no, I, I for something what China's saying. doing. All right? yeah, I, to I totally get that. And constitutionally we can't do all the things you just said so let me get back with you but let me just yeah, get with back this. with me because you co-sponsored it two days ago okay Senator. all right i mean pick your poison either lindsey graham co-sponsored a bill the contents of which he was completely ignorant of has no idea what's in this bill i guess you can believe that if you want or they were attempting to enact a bill that is a huge power grab and didn't want the public to realize they were doing that because they had the public so worked up over the evils of TikTok through a campaign financed by Facebook and over anti-Chinese sentiment. That's your responsibility as a citizen, is to not allow them to do that to you. That even if you believe China's a threat, even if you hate TikTok, be very careful with these people when they start trying to speak to you as if they agree with you and start demanding powers in the name of protecting you. So often, that is how we got many of the worst abuses that we continue to have to confront and fight against to this very day. Thanks for watching this clip from System Update. Catch our full shows for free live weekdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on Rumble and join our Locals community at greenwall.locals.com for all of my written journalism, exclusive after-show Q&As, and more.